All right, guys, next one's the delta to Y configuration. This one's looking for a lower voltage. So we're going to connect up uh, X1 and X3 together, and X2 and X4. So we'll parallel up, uh, parallel up our secondaries there. So X1 and X3, X2 and X4. And finally, here we got X1 and X3. and X2 and X4. It, this has nothing to do with the Y secondary, right? That's just paralleling up the secondary windings in order to get the lower voltage out of these two windings right here. Okay, you'll notice that on the primary, I kept all my conductors here for the previous circuit. So the previous one I believe we had was a delta to um, closed delta, so delta to delta. Um, now we're doing a delta to Y, so I've kept all of these exactly the same. So with these guys, I have uh, A to B, B to C, C back to A. Okay, we've already tested that out, seen those incoming voltages. We've seen that it's the same as coming from the breaker. There's two 8 volts available on each of those guys. So two 8 volts provided to the primary of each of our transformers means that we have 120 volts available on each of our secondaries there. And we've, now we've paralleled these guys up. So now we're gonna create a Y connection now. So I'm gonna bring um, my line one out from X1 of the first transformer. So I'm gonna grab line one there, okay? With this Y uh, secondary, I don't have to worry about the, the previous issue where like I was closing a delta and I, I needed to take a voltage reading prior to closing this. You can just go ahead and do these connections. So the next one is the B phase. B phase is gonna come from X1 of the second transformer. And my outgoing C phase is gonna come from uh, X1 of the third transformer. And again, I'm using the wrong terminology. The, um, these should be line values that are coming out. I always say phase, because everybody says phase, but those are in fact line voltages that are coming out. Okay, we need to create um, a Y connection. So that means that all of my X4s have got to be tied together. So I'm going to jumper X4 of my first transformer to X4 of my second transformer. And I'm also going to tie those guys together. So X4 of that guy is going to come over and feed X4 of this guy. So all the X4s are going to be tied together there. Beautiful. Okay, then I need uh, an, a neutral there. Let me grab one more conductor. I was looking to see whether we had a different color, but we don't. Uh, so I'm going to grab, I guess, a blue here. And I'm going to go from any of those X4s, and I'm going to bring that to this terminal right here. So that's going to correspond to my neutral of the circuit there. Okay. So I don't have to look at the voltages here because I know that each of these are uh, 211. Like, we, let's look at one. Okay, we've done this many times, but when we turn this on, um, let's look at our primary voltage. Okay, so that's 28, right? 210, 28. Okay, so that's our voltage coming in. And on the output side here, uh, let's see, we have 120 volts on each of our secondary windings. We parallel those guys up. Um, so, what are we going to have between these guys? Let's check it out and see if it makes sense. So, let's look at line one to line two on the output of this Y. And we got 208 volts on the output here, so 218. So, does that make sense? It looks like we've got 120 volts uh, on the phase, right? So, from, uh, let's, let's check out the phase to neutral voltage. So between here and here, do we have something close to 120 volts? Oh, we do, nice. So we have 125 volts between line and neutral. And between any line and neutral, we will have that same voltage, 125 and 125. Beautiful, so how come I've got that higher voltage on the output? If I look at any of these lines here, I got a much higher voltage. I got 218. Again, it's a little bit confusing because it should be 28. So I have 120 volts from line to neutral. 
This is giving me 28 from line to line. And again, the voltage is a little bit higher because of two reasons. Higher voltage we saw here, this was not 2.8, this was 2.10, 2 2.11, and there's no loads on the secondary of the, of the transformer. So we're not going to see 2.8, we're seeing a little bit higher at 2.18 because there's no load. But it is root 3 of the, uh, of the line to neutral voltage. If we take um, your phone and, or your calculator and take root 3 of 1.25, 126, you're definitely going to get this voltage between the lines, 218 volts. So this should be 28, but it's a little bit higher because we don't have any physical loads connected. So A to C is 218. A to B, 218. And B to C is also 218. Beautiful. Okay. We can... There's no need to ground this uh, because we don't have any loads connected to this. Uh, but if we were to ground this guy, let me just grab a longer jumper here. So we do have a ground connection on the, uh, on the trainers. You can't see it in the video there, but there's a ground connection on our power supply here. Um, let's just see if I ground that terminal there, whether uh, the voltage on the, uh, on the secondary changes. No, still 218, and if I look at uh, the voltage between the line and the neutral now, it should be still 125. So grounding the center top of this, uh, this circuit doesn't do anything to our voltages, uh, but in fact, if you had it in the field, if you had a delta to Y transformer, that neutral would always be bonded to ground. But we don't have any secondary loading, so there's no difference in the voltages uh, being seen there when we break that neutral uh, to ground connection. If I lift the ground right now, there's no discernible difference between what we had before. All right, guys, so hopefully everything made sense there in that um, we had a closed, we had a, uh, sorry, a delta on the primary, closed delta on the primary. We have a Y secondary. On the secondary, we have paralleled our uh, secondary windings. So that means that our phase voltage is, in this case, 120 volts, and the output line voltage is going to be root 3 higher. So if I look at any line-to-line -line voltage, I'm going to see 28 volts, which again is 218 because we don't have any secondary uh, loading on there. There's nothing connected to there as a loading on the secondary of this transformer. All right, guys, hopefully everything made sense. Uh, next video is going to be on... The Y to Y. We haven't done the Y to Y connection yet. So I'll see you in the next video.